<laughs> this is harder than it looks trying to get your sunglasses on. You can give me your glasses. I got them. There we go. Now I can feel them now. <laughs> <laughs> so we are you're standing nice and close to so we can you can hear me. So we're flying the flying king around. Um I'm about half throttle. You know, right up just right under half throttle right now. As you can tell close the ship tiger ninety pulls it really well in the sky. Um the one thing you notice, now this is just an airline turn here, but look how it, well that one was actually pretty good for an airline turn, but what I've been doing is to make it turn just a little bit nicer, I'm just leaning on the rudder right there, see? I'm not giving it air at any airline input, I'm just feeding a little, I'm just, I'm barely put, putting any pressure on it, and that's why it's so important to learn how to use your rudder you see there i'm doing a little left and i'm, just, I'm not moving it much i mean i'm just like i said barely moving the stick but it does fly super nice now we got a pretty cloudy overcast day today a little little bit of rain showers but uh that ain't gonna stop me from flying i did tell a couple of guys that i didn't think today was gonna happen because they thought it was gonna be really windy it up the full throttle to get through the maneuver. But uh, got up this morning and it was it rained a little bit last night but uh, for the most part it, uh, um, it ain't too bad of a day. We already went with a couple of rain showers here while we were charging stuff up and getting things ready to fly. It does have a different uh, attitude towards it with a low wing conversion. And uh, it doesn't fly any like my buddy's flying thing. And you start picking the wind up here just a little bit. And the flaps on this will play around with the flaps a little bit. And they're very, um, they work really well. It doesn't balloon up. It slows down a little nice for landing. So even though you know usually a plane like this doesn't need flaps, it, it does help. So let's show that here in a little bit when I land. I'm gonna have to roll on. I got such a big tank on it, I can usually get a couple flights out of one tank. And with the way the tank's at and the windows and stuff, we'll do a nice flyby here. Nice and well here. It does drag the tail around a little bit in the turns, as you can see, and I still think it's a little bit tail heavy. But it flies okay, so I don't know if I'll mess with it later on or not. Put, put just a little, put the nose weight in it and see what that makes it better. Especially on takeoff, you know, it just kind of has that. doesn't want to climb as well, it just, it's weird. Like there's a little bit of a storm coming in. So, we did a back there a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, there's a crosswind landing today, but we can see it. It's out here, I'm going to go ahead and just introduce the first section of pots there. See, it raised a little bit, so we're going just a little fast. And we'll go to idle and pull flat. Idle it down a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna be the one.
still got one flat stuck in. That cross one's really going to affect the landing here. We'll go out a little further here. Okay, this whole flaps. Way too high aisle there. There we go. And the flare. That's not my most prettiest landing, but pretty good nonetheless.
guys, here's the Super Sports Tonight that you guys have seen on the build on the channel. And uh, this is flying around half throttle. I'm still having some issues with that left engine. But uh, it seems like it's just loading up a little bit in the lower ranges, so I'm gonna have to just keep fine tuning that low end needle adjustment. But this is pretty much hands off flying right here about half throttle. So. I wish it was a little bit more responsive in the airline department, but it does roll pretty good. I mean, it is almost a 85, 86 inch ring, if I remember right. So, the motors are definitely starting to break in a little bit more. I remember the first flight, I had to fly it around at full crawl the whole time because it didn't, didn't seem like it was wanting to go very good. But they're definitely starting to break in more. Whoa. A big old wing and the wind catches it and does that kind of stuff. Well, like I said, that's half throttle. We'll go ahead and do a full throttle flyby here. Let's see how many engines are in. And back down to half. It's half throttle. Still getting a feel for this. I think this is only like the third flight on this. So. And I've never had a big super sports before either. I've always had the 40 side version. And the wind keeps changing directions on me too. So. That happens a lot of this field. Let's try it right up ahead and see how she she does. Going straight up, hands off. Yeah, I kind of screwed that up. I don't want to trust these engines enough to let them idle for too long. I want to keep some throttle in them. You got pretty good vertical performance. It seems like it goes up pretty straight, so. I didn't really need any rudder correction on the fan. Very fast right here. And that's, what, that's low rates too, or mid, mid, mid rates. So I think what I'll do is I'll increase the air lines on the mid rates a little more. Because the elevator seems to be funny, have plenty of authority. Not really giving it a lot of, a lot of roll there to, yeah, loop. So, elevator seems to be spot on, but right, airlines need a little more. Look at how that big, yeah, that big old rudder back there has definitely got a lot of authority to it. This is a uh, half throttle. We'll try a uh, little bit of an iPad chair to have. Or rather, got a little cup one going on. But not too bad. I don't want to fly for very long because they're probably still running a little on the rip side. Plus, looks like we got some storms moving in, so I think I'll go ahead and start setting up for a landing. Now, last time I landed this, it just didn't want to spit flying. So I might have to throw the idles down a little bit here. A little more. Oh, a little too fast there. Oh. Definitely starting to uh, break in a lot more. And the more we fly, the more I fly, the more I want some fuel for them. They'll get a lot more reliable. It's going to be a nice kind of thing. Well, there you have it. The Super 
Hector 90 Clint. And uh, I got the idle all the way down right now, so they're getting 